Hi there and welcome back. Let us look at this amazing example over here. We are going to react ethylene with water to form ethanol. Okay, let's do step by step using Aspen Heises. First step is to add our components. I'm going to add my ethylene, water, and ethanol. The next step will be to add our thermodynamic properties. I decided to go along with um, Peng Robinson. It's important to do your research and choose the most desired thermodynamic property. If you click on next, Aspen is going to ask you, do you want to calculate everything, the properties, more especially, just say yes. And let's move on to the next step, which is the simulation. For our simulation, I'm going to have two inlet streams, that is our ethylene and water. Now, ethylene and water are almost opposites when it comes to these thermodynamic properties. For example, ethylene at room temperature, it is a gas, meaning it's in its vapor form. Hell's water at room temperature, it is a liquid. Also the opposite, for example, if ethylene now it's a liquid and that's below minus degree Celsius, water is ice at that point. So the most desirable or favorable um, condition that these two can relate at its at gas phase let us feed our water at 25 degrees celsius which is liquid phase and then heat it up to just above its boiling point and that's above 100 degrees i decided to go with 150 whereas for ethylene let us feed it at room temperature and at that state it already exists in its gaseous form allow the two streams to mix in our mixer and once you have solved everything and there's no errors the next step now will be for us to add our reactor for the reactor, I decided to go along with the Gibbs reactor. You could have selected any reactor of your choice. Um, it's always interesting to try different reactors and how they operate or affect your simulation or the conditions and the parameters or the results rather. So for this example, let's just go along with the Gibbs reactor. For the Gibbs reactor, I am going to play around with our temperatures. Initially, I said, let us react water and our ethylene at 80 degrees and i got a very low 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 um, formation of our ethanol i lowered the temperature to 58 and ethanol began to pick up i increased the pressure as well formation of ethanol also started to pick up as well i could see that the mole fraction was now becoming to increase at at least 80 percent so that's where i left it at 81 percent um so yeah play around with your numbers there you'll notice that pressure also does have an effect the next step is to add our separator now you'll notice that aspen is different from dw sim i also did the very same example on dw sim please check it out on dw sim you have to use your brain and think a lot you have to think of the number of stages the feed stage you know the temperature and pressure within your column whereas here on aspen you just define your outlet stream i decided to just specify that for the bottom stream so i said i want 100 percent i just told aspen and it did that for me consequently it calculated my top outlet stream as well which was 100 percent water so there you go ladies and gentlemen i hope this example was easy and understandable for you also check out the other video where else i used the different simulator which was dw so thank you so much for watching i appreciate you also um we do have a website now which makes it easier for you to interact with us i also placed our learning curriculums there nice for you so it can be easier for you to navigate the problems that you want help with um so yeah if you're interested please check out our website at www.chemicalengineeringwithkabisa let's see you at city till next time bye